All right, you guys, please forgive me for this video I'm about to do. It's gonna be a little bit dangerous because I gotta hold the phone the whole way because I took the wrong car down. It doesn't have any holders for the, for the uh, what should I call it? So, but we're gonna do a video driving up the mountain, driving through the clouds. As you can see, it's just so cloudy down here in San Bernardino and Highland. Just completely cloudy. And uh, yeah, when I was up there before I came down, it was beautiful and sunny up there without a cloud in the sky. So I thought you guys might wanna just experience a nice, beautiful June gloom day and breaking through the clouds into heaven. This is my heavenly trek up the mountain. So, unless it starts getting too dangerous, I'm gonna keep on holding the, holding the phone. Hold the phones. Honestly guys, I need a new windshield. This thing has so many little dings in it that it just, I don't know. At nighttime, it's, it's really bad. It's tough to see at night because you get all the all the uh, light just reflecting off of all the little cracks. It's just horrible. But yeah guys, so these, these little yellow flowers, which will become a lot more prominent in just a moment, are super, super, super beautiful and smell wonderful. Just incredibly smelling. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, it's, it's, oh man. I guess it would kind of be what I assume heaven to be. It's, it smells like what I assume it would smell like. It's just, just peaceful. But yeah, guys, so hopefully we get to break through the clouds instead of how I got down here. We didn't break through the clouds. We went around a little mountain bend and then we were already, uh, below the fog level. So hopefully it's not like that anymore. Hopefully we actually break through the clouds because it's really nice driving up here and seeing how high these clouds are, but then just going way freaking higher. So I'll shut up now. Highway 330 folks. If I can get a good enough, I know I said I'd shut up. If I can get a good enough uh, start on these people behind me, then we'll be able to kind of drive this kind of slow, hopefully, and uh, get some really, really good views for you guys. Okay, so you can see we're coming up here to where you can see some blue sky over there. But, I don't know why I can't remember what these uh, yellow little flowers are called, like dandelions or something. I don't know. No, no, no. Dandelions are, are those ones that you like uh, blow and make a wish, right? That sounds pretty gay. <laughs> yeah, blow this and make a wish. Super. Thanks for asking. How many weeks? All right, here we go. So look, it might be the same thing again where we're not actually gonna drive through the clouds. We're gonna like barely miss them at their very end up here. But the view looking at them down there is just gonna be awesome, you guys. I'm really happy, really happy. And look at, so now it's starting to smell so good all through here because of these yellow flowers. They absolutely reek in such a good way. Oh my God. Love them, love them. So guys, we are approaching the ceiling of the clouds, and soon it's going to be the flow. Oh man. Alright, so we're going to shut this video off right here. Oh my god. Traffic, you guys, this is going to suck. So anyway, let's just pull down these windows so we can see everything. Yeah, pretty, pretty awesome. Tony, guys, the view is going to be insane looking down on all of Southern California. Just going to be one big cloud if we get up here fast enough before it starts burning off. Because the June gloom burns off. Yeah, this is beautiful, guys. Such a beautiful place to live. 
So obviously they're doing some road work up here. It's 8.20 in the morning. <coughs> Not too thrilled about the road work, but they gotta do it. I just wish they would pick different times and you know, pick times when people aren't actually like going to work and busy. Look, they have the lights already right here. Use them and like do this job at night, Barney. Oh, those smell so good. Seriously. give you guys an idea also of what traffic's like coming up and down the mountain so you know this was basically the only real road work that was being done while I drove down the mountain and now up um, in Big Bear Lake and uh, over by Boulder Bay they were doing a little bit of work too but that's about it so hopefully this will be smooth sailing from here on out guys we're still below the cloud line or actually we're about at the ceiling but we'll see See how long it takes for us to get above all that. Oh my God, it smells so good. Seriously, these things smell so good and they're so pretty. I love it. I like it a lot. Come on, barnyard. Seriously, it's just all musty and misty up here and it just feels like you're driving into heaven. It really does. When I first moved to Big Bear, once I hit about the 5,000 point mark up here, all my negative energy disappeared and it was just positive sailing, smooth sailing from that point on, just really cool. At least that's what my attitude was. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty in here. It smells wonderful. I can't stop saying that. perspective of how of where the clouds are elevation wise so you can see how high we're actually going to climb we're going to get way above these clouds you guys way above way above So after we make this left up here, well, it kind of makes a small left and then it straightens out again to the right and then we make a bigger left turn. Uh, oh wait, never mind, we're already here. I was gonna say, uh, the view should be pretty awesome over here if we can see it. But the clouds, just right there, right below us now. We're still in a little bit of some misty kind of air, but we're gonna be above that in a couple more turns and it's just gonna be smooth sailing and beautiful. But it already is beautiful, look at this. Remember how dark it was down there? I mean, this is what's so beautiful about up here, guys, is that we just get amazing weather. We have over 300 days of sunshine in the Big Bear area and Lake Arrowhead and whatnot. Over 300 days of sunshine per year, guys. That's pretty amazing. Oh my God, it smells so good. I just want to lay in a bed of these things, man. Holy moly. All right, let's see if we can, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we're climbing, we're climbing.
Isn't this just beautiful, you guys? And usually up here I'd pass about three of these people, but to maintain this uh, beautiful drive and not having to rush, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, stay to the right. Especially after these douchebags, we're going slow, and then they speed up right at the passing part because that's just how they are. That's called douchebaggery in terms of driving. So awesome, guys. Uh, I can't wait till we get a little higher, be able to have the views a lot better. still going to keep on climbing a significant distance and those clouds are going to look tiny down there if we ever get there. So we're not going to do the whole drive to, uh, to Big Bear. We're just going to get up to the top of Highway 330 with all the beautiful views and once those end then we're going to cut it off. So right about once we get to that, I think it's a Valero. No, I don't know. It's or a Sinclair gas station in Running Springs. Then we'll show it up. <coughs> Sorry about the traffic, you guys, but this is the real experience, so you guys are gonna get to experience the real experience. trucks up here need to be a little more considerate at all the turnouts and pull over and let people drive but this is why we get traffic just because we get assholes like that up there but that's okay it's a beautiful day
up here. <laughs> Not so much down there. Thousand dollar fine for littering. This won't be a really long video, I hope. Like, we would have already been there by now, but because of all the traffic, unfortunately, it took us a little longer. Oh, it's so amazing down there. This should be some okay views. those trucks pulled over. So we're doing pretty good holding the camera. So that's a good Guys, I'm just trying to get the best views we can. That's why the camera keeps moving around, going back outside and whatnot. So just know I'm doing, trying to do the best I can for us. this windshield didn't suck so bad and we're not going to pass anybody i know you guys are shocked but we're going to keep it kind of mellow
Honestly, I wish this windshield wasn't so potted up like this. Just crystal clear blue skies, guys. Not a cloud in sight up here. Nowhere to be seen. Not a cloud in sight up here. If you're seeing any clouds, it's because the windshield's screwed up. There aren't any clouds up here. <coughs> but this next stretch is going to be our last stretch of some beautiful uh, views down the hill, and then we'll be shutting it off in a moment. guys incredible you guys here's another little view doesn't it almost feel like you're on an airplane driving up here how cool is that dude we were way below those clouds underneath the clouds down there now we're way above them that was cool so hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I know it's not my typical video, but it is Big Bear weather and more. And this is weather, so, you know, I thought you guys would be stoked. And the gas station I'm shutting off is not this one, it's at Sinclair. I just wanted you guys to get a sense of where we're at. So now we have uh, arrived into the mountain area. So uh, we are, yeah, we're, we're on Highway 18 now, guys. We just uh, transitioned from 3.30 to 18, and we're headed to Big Bear. But we're gonna shut this off in just a moment once we pass this, the, uh, the Sinclair gas station. This is the 76. Okay, I think we're gonna have a couple more little views right here. Just amazing, you guys. All right, folks. I think that's going to do it for us today. Alright guys, lots of love. Love you guys a lot. Thank you for all the nice comments you guys leave. I will talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out. And this is the Sinclair gas station around this little left bend right here. Let's see. If it is a Sinclair, I always forget. Nope, it's a Valero. 